Hello world, it's Gojo4 with you once again. How are you guys doing today? Got a few things for you um, on this little vlog. A few things I want to talk about. Um, it's been uh, a little bit crazy lately. I'm sure you've noticed. Um, so, the first thing I want to talk about was the, the newly released Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice. I did see it. In fact, I saw it Thursday night with my... Uh, compatriots we went to the Thursday night screening and um, yeah I have to admit that um, I actually enjoyed it um, contrary to and I walked in knowing that the, the critical reviews or having heard some of them and seeing the scores so I walked in a little bit worried a little bit unsure and um, so maybe that's why I wasn't disappointed but I enjoyed it I had my issues with the film but I thought it was good pretty enjoyable um, uh, there were some cool moments in it there was uh, some very not so cool moments that's for sure um, you know there are issues with the film yes is it mainly a lot of like there's great action but the story is a bit of a mess yes um, is it too much cramped into one movie yes is it a long movie yes does the action take forever to get to yes is one of these movies that like you you may it might be tough for someone who's more of a casual superhero fan to enjoy I felt like watching it if you did not really read the comics if you didn't weren't such a huge fan of these characters you'd probably have a tough time trying to get through the whole movie to get to the action at the end because um, it does take a lot it's a lot of build up it's a lot of setup if you want to see the formation of the Justice League and the seeds that build all that, you'll really, I think you'll enjoy this movie. Because that's what this movie is. It's a, basically, it's a setup for the Justice League movie. Um, and in that sense, it works. It, it begins to build those, those things that are going to come to light. Um, and, uh, hey, Batman's pretty cool in it, too. Um, I honestly actually expected more Batman than we got. Um... You know, you don't really see the rest of Gotham and other villains. Like, there is no Joker, there is no uh, Riddler, nothing. It's just Batman and Superman and then, of course, the, you know, Lex Luthor and... Okay, Doomsday. I'll say Doomsday. You know Doomsday's in it if you've seen the trailer. It's not really a spoiler. Um, and Wonder Woman. But there's really no other outside stuff from the Batman universe. Um, so in that sense, if you're looking for a Batman movie... Aside from some cool scenes, you're not really going to find that much of, like, that except for Batman being mad at Superman the whole movie. And, yeah. Um, yes, it has problems, but it's enjoyable. It's a good... I think it's a good superhero movie. I think it's enjoyable. I think if you liked Man of Steel, you might like this movie. Um, or you may hate it. Um, I think if you expected a movie on par with Marvel movies, you might be a little disappointed because Marvel is willing to take the time build these movies. You know, we had two Iron Man movies, Thor and Captain America, before we even got the first Avengers movie, right? So they didn't try to cram everything together. Um, yeah, so they, Warner Brothers, I mean, this is the best they could do from trying to cramp together four characters, or three characters into one, you know, and to introduce two new characters and a new villain all into one movie. Yeah. <laughs> so... It is a little tough. Um, and this is why Justice League is going to be in two parts, essentially. Uh, yeah. So, it was good, though. I would say go see it. Um, but walk in expecting... Don't walk in expecting, like, a great superhero movie. Don't ex walk in expecting Avengers, you know. That's just what I'm saying. But anyway, on to more news of the week. Um, involving Godzilla Resurgence. Um, there was a great April Fool's prank pulled by Toho. They made like a fake promotional poster campaign that's just showing Godzilla fighting one of the Evas from Neon Genesis Evangelion anime, which one of the directors, Anno of Resurgence, Godzilla Resurgence, he uh, created that anime, so um, this was kind of like a cool tie-in. Um, and so they fooled everybody into thinking there was a movie being filmed of Godzilla vs. Evangelon, but that was just a joke. Though it was a really cool looking poster that they made. But what they are doing is kind of crossover merch, you know, involving memorabilia from both 
uh, franchises, which I think is pretty cool. And um, it's a very good way to pair up two very popular icons of Japanese um, entertainment culture, you know. It's like pairing up, uh, over here it would be like pairing up Batman with, uh, ooh, who knows, like a cartoon character, you know. Um, like Donald Duck or something, right? So it's a good, it's, it's both famous icons you can bring together. Um, and yeah, so I mean, it's not a movie, but it's merch, you know, shirts, backpacks, buttons, stickers. I don't know if there are going to be toys or figurines. Maybe we'll see plushies, probably, but I don't think there's going to be a massive new line of figures. I think it's just mainly, you know, store merch and stuff like that. Um, but what the real exciting news, I think, um, is also, well, before that, Toho also announced they're going to re-release several of the, uh, the original, no, sorry, Toho is going to re-release all 30 Godzilla films, even G98 and G2014, on DVD, except G2014 is getting a Blu-ray release. In Japan, of course, this is Japan, um, so if you go to Amazon.com in Japan, you can pre-order these, and it's all... Just a whole re-release of all of them. They have these cool kind of uh, uh, covers that they're all like... Everything's black and white except for... Uh, or no, the background is one color while the kaiju in the movie are in black and white. They're pretty neat. Um, pretty cool. I was a little bit just like, eh. You know, I've seen some cooler uh, DVD covers. I almost wish they brought back the original poster covers that were, you know, when they were first released. Like, I find those cooler. Um, I, I wasn't sure it was a huge, I don't know, my opinion, it, I always prefer the original posters of the films than any new DVD cover they try to make, so, um, but that's just me, I guess, whatever, I mean, if you, so, it's exciting though, I mean, but the real reason this is all important is because Toho has announced that pretty much this month they're going to start rolling out the Godzilla Resurgence marketing campaign, which, this is already kind of part of that, um, so that's very exciting, finally, after months of, you know, last thing we got was in December was a poster in a, in a trailer that didn't show anything. So, and like, the movie's like four months away from release in Japan, and it's like, I think it's about time to start, you know, showing us a little more of the goods. Um, yeah, I don't expect a trailer with Godzilla in it, but I'd love to know a little bit more of what's going on in the story and some actual footage of the characters in the story doing something, you know, just saying. But at the same time, I love how secretive they're being about it. Um, that's kind of cool. Um, it does make me kind of like really interested to know what's going to happen. So in that sense, they're doing a good job uh, keeping us interested while leaving breadcrumbs. Um, and, and, you know, it's not like legendary pictures who spammed us with trailer after trailer, um, especially, tra but, but the movie does come out in four months, so anything could change next month. Toho could start slamming us with marketing, um, and we'll have to see, but it's exciting that we're finally getting to this point. I think it's just exciting that there's a Godzilla movie coming out in Japan in four months. I'm, you know, hopefully getting, coming to America maybe the month or two after. Um, but I just think that's super cool we live in another year where there's just another Godzilla movie coming out in four months. I mean, that's freaking cool. Um, and we hardly know anything about it, too. I think that's kind of neat, in a way. Um, I just remember a, a year and a half ago, back in December, where we were like, we first heard this and we're like, what? We don't have to wait four years for another Godzilla movie. We're getting one in a year and a half. And here we are. It's almost here. And we, um, you know... The controversy over the design, I mean, that happens every time, um, but it's always exciting, it's always fun to have that conversation, like, you know, and this one is no different, obviously. I'm just excited to see the suit in action, I'm excited to see Godzilla in action, and, um, yeah. I will say, back to that Evangelon, Godzilla crossover, it would be kind of cool if there was a, a manga, a Japanese cartoon, <laughs> comic book. Uh, made for it. I think that would be kind of cool, and I, I could definitely see them doing that as part of the crossover. Um, yeah. Anyway, so those are just my thoughts on the news going on with Surgeons. It's an exciting time, folks. We're getting there. We're getting very close. Um, 
yeah, so, woof, can't believe it, four months, let's rock to it. Alright guys, we'll see you around, bye!